I dreamed a dream approximately 15 years ago about a down low man, my ex. I dreamed my ex, his good friend, and myself were walking down this dirt pathway. It was like some type of country road out in the country. As we walked, I branched off and went down this terrain to a brook and began to wash some dishes in this brook. My ex and his friend continue on this dirt pathway. My ex was about 12 feet in front of his friend, walking very swiftly and rapidly with very little concern for his friend, making it impossible for his friend to catch up to him. I looked over at them as they continued down the dirt pathway. His friend was really trying to catch up with my ex so that the two of them could walk together, but he could not. My ex was excited about being out and could not wait to get into something. After about 15 minutes or so, I was interrupted while washing dishes in this brook by the good friend. He said to me, Kim, X is lost and I cannot find him. I thought to myself, what do you mean you cannot find him? This is when I stood up and left with the good friend to look for my ex. I left the dishes at the brook right where they lay. His good friend followed close behind me. I walked down the same dirt pathway as before. And within moments, found my ex in this dome-shaped building. In the dream, the building was shaped like a Jewish synagogue. Shaped building were all sorts of denominations represented by a man. For each denomination sat there a man. They were all sitting down on their bottoms in one huge circle. They sat round the perimeter of the building in a perfect circle. There were hundreds of them. There they sat, very politely and in order, sitting on the floor with legs crossed, like little children do before story time at school. There also sat with them was one huge statue that sat front and center among the men in this dome-shaped building. I found my ex sitting at the right hand of this huge statue. The statue looked just like a huge Buddha. My ex dwarfed in size to this Buddha. I went over to see him and found my ex in a serious bad way. This is when I noticed that his genitals were exposed. I noticed that my ex penis was completely removed. Nothing remained but a bloody round wound. His penis was completely gone. It looked as if it had been scooped out. This is when I said to my ex, oh ex, from side to side in his head. Back and forth they went, back and forth. His mind was completely gone, along with his penis. His good friend never said a mumbling word upon us finding my ex. He just kept in the background and allowed me to handle the situation. 
After having this dream, I immediately woke up and shared it with my ex. He sprung up quickly to hear the dream from the Lord, like he has done so many times in the past. Now the interpretation of the down low man's dream. My ex, his good friend, and myself were walking down this dirt pathway. This represented my life. His good friend represented himself. He played himself. He, in real life, was my ex, good friend. Later, I found out that he was not only a good friend, but also his lover, too. I did not know it at the time, but God knew. This is why the Lord used him in the dream. My ex walking ahead of his friend and lover in full excitement and not waiting for him represented my ex being driven by this homosexual spirit and being completely out of control. The friend and lover running behind my ex represented his attraction for my ex and him wanting to be with him. Me washing dishes in the brook represented me helping other down low men as well that are oppressed by this homosexual spirit lost and without strength. His good friend and lover coming back to me for help in locating my ex represented his acknowledgement of my gift. He wanted a word and direction from the Lord about my ex that he knew was lost. No doubt the good friend and lover did not want to come to me, but for the sake of his friend and lover, he inquired. Me finding my ex quickly represented me receiving a word from the Lord about the whereabouts and conditions of my ex. The dome-shaped building, looking like a synagogue, represented the church, the building where we congregate and worship the Lord. Finding my ex at the right hand of this huge Buddha represented his power and authority that he willfully gave away to the enemy. Buddha represented Satan. Don't forget that Jesus sits on the right hand of our Heavenly Father with all authority and power and making intercessions for us, the church, to be overcomers of that wicked one. Me walking over and seeing my ex sitting there next to this Buddha with his penis and mind completely gone represented judgment. Judgment that my ex had been warned of for years. My ex had been warned of this fate and more for many years on numerous occasions throughout his entire 25 years of marriage, but took heed to none. He chose to continue to preach, teach, and evangelize, keeping up his front as a man of God. People, God is not just a God of great love and compassion, but he is a God of great wrath and judgment too. He gives everyone warnings. He shared with Abraham the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, and he is sharing with us today through his same prophets the same issue. The word says, surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. My ex-good friend and lover standing in the background and not getting too close represented him not wanting the same thing happening to him. He was suffering enough with just having to view his friend and lover in such a dire condition. The other men sitting in the circular pattern in the synagogue represented church leaders, other down low men that are in the seat of authority and play in church as well. They too had willfully given away their authority and power to this Buddha, namely Satan. 
Satan's putrid sin and spirit is widespread and can be found in many denominations as depicted by the dream. Down low man, Jesus is coming soon, but first he is going to clean house. He's going to start at the top with the heads and make his way into the pews, not sparing even a church mouse. No matter what house you may abide in, Mr. Clean is coming, uncovering the wolf and getting rid of his sheepskin. Now, you may not believe this, but when it comes to pass, and it will, stop and think about your down low life and how greatly it kills. Down low man, I bring a message from the son of man. Consider yourself warned. I'm only following the chain of command. Jesus love you. Give yourself a gift of awareness. Order today. You're welcome to visit my website, the Download Man's Reality Show.com.